Okay, so it's Friday, March 11th, third day back in a row at Wade Creek. Uh, it's about 3.30, let's see, it's uh, 3.35. Low tide was about 2.15. I don't even know what the tidal height is or was. Um, energy is supposed to be below 200. So it's a really pleasant day. Normally it's windy in the afternoons, but not today. So sunshine, blue skies. Uh, there's three people in the surf. I just met Tong, Tong Nguyen up uh, at the parking lot. Uh, he had 12 keepers and he had some really big red tails and he also got a dungeness. So 12 keepers and a dungeness. So he was here, he said about three or four hours and he got half of his catch on sand shrimp and he said the other half on camel gulp worms but he said for a while there it was like a uh, fish on every cast so uh i'm hoping that i have some success here in conditions actually look really good and there's a lot of breaking waves that are close by especially where these three are so see who they are see if they're club members and see how they're doing so tom told me that the silvers are starting to bite now but hey i'll take anything uh this is a spur of the moment Fishing trip for me, I hadn't planned on coming. That's a good sign, just walking up. Hey, nice catch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's a good sign. Hey, anyone is better than nothing. My name is Jay. Dean. Jay, what, James? Dean. Dean. Yeah. You belong to the Oregon Perch Club? What? Do you belong to the Oregon Surf Perch Club? No, my brother. He yeah, does? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Actually, since you're with him, you guys all yeah. three together? No, just me and him. Oh. There was another guy here earlier. Remember? Yeah, he had a, yeah, I just he saw him at the park. Yeah, he had some nice ones, huh? If, if you get a, uh, see that flap? See what the label is? There's a flap, it's a Velcro. Yes, right above it is a flap. Open it up. And there's weights and stuff. If you want to take a couple, help yourself. You want one? No, no, I already got mine. Uh, then I'll ask your brother. What's your, uh, what's your last name, Gene? Timberman. Tim, Timberman? Yeah. Okay, you got to join the club. How you doing? What's your name? Terry. Terry? Yeah. What's your last name, Terry? Timberman. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you guys are brothers. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. You belong to the Purge Club. Uh, my flap, there's some weights in there. You pour these up yourself? No, some guy donated the lead, and then we have club members who pour them for free. Yeah. So I just give them out for free. He just joined the website. Oh, good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah, welcome. I, I joined about a week and a half ago. Oh, that's great. And have you fished here before? Yeah, I, I have fished here before, and I've also fished Wainima. No, I, I don't usually go more than 20 minutes away from my home. <laughs> okay. I live in Depot Bay, oh, okay. so there's only like 12 or 15 minutes for me. Yeah, well, uh, Wainima is where I actually live. I live in Nesquim. Oh, okay. Where I live. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a long way to come to fish. Can't you fish in Nesquim? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, yeah. I enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been getting bites regularly since oh, yeah. you've been here? Yeah, quite a few. Okay. And have you guys got any red tails or mainly silvers? Mainly silver. Okay. The guy that was fishing here just yeah. he got here. Yeah. He, he had a monster catch, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he had 10, he had 12 keepers yeah. and a dungeon. Real nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, he was here like four hours up. He was here yesterday, did really well yesterday too. Yeah. I want to say hi to that lady. It was nice meeting both of you guys. Nice meeting you. Yeah, and I'll, put a, I'll put a video up later. Yes. Jay was. Jay, yeah, Jay. Okay, so those are the Timmerman brothers. And uh, it's funny how one of them just joined the club about a week and a half ago. How you doing? My name's Jay. Cheryl. Cheryl? What's your last name, Cheryl? Uh, Cochran. Cochran? You belong to the Oregon Surf First Club? Yep. Good. Have you fished here before? A couple times. Oh, and have you done well here before? I've caught a couple. Okay, well that's good. Yeah. If you uh, you see the label, right above that is a flap, it's Velcro. If you open it, there's weights and there's worms in there if you'd like. Okay, Are you getting any bites right now? Um, I got one uh, bite and um, well, I got two bites. I got... Those guys just got a silver, but uh, did you see the guy that just left? Uh, the guy that just left had 12 keepers. I mean, oh, there's. There were some huge ones in there. I, I hooked into one that... Um, you got a bite, right? I think so. Yeah, I can see you want to go like that, yeah. I hooked into one that uh, that uh, sent my um, drag just screaming. Oh, no. Oh, bummer. Just now? I uh, know, a little while ago. Oh, how long have you been fishing? Uh, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. Okay. 
Yeah, I come here quite a bit. I don't know if you see my videos or not. Yeah, I have to. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, good. That's what someone said, told me yesterday, too. You got, uh, how many hooks are you using? Two. Okay, oh. Oh, yeah, because they took one of yours. Yeah, good job. That means you got a, I saw your rod go like that. I was like, oh, yeah, that was a bite. Yeah. All right, I think I'm take my first cast here. So two of the people were club members. Uh, catch conditions kind of look okay. They don't look great though. I tell you, there's a bunch of crashing words coming in now. Okay, so first cast. Uh, so those guys said they're getting bites. And she also got a few bites too. Uh, they said small ones, so. But she said she actually got a monster bite a while ago. So hopefully they're still out there. All right, first cast. And it's uh, 3.45. I'm getting a bite, although I can tell they're silvers. It was just a little light tap. So uh, probably been out there maybe 20 seconds, but it's like a little, little, little dinky taps. See it, but there's actually, I'm gonna walk up, but there's actually a sandbar up here, which is about two feet. A uh, foot and a half to two feet high. And it's right in front of the trees where this trough is. So again, at high tide, you're up there. You'll be casting in this area here. And here south of the trees, there's a big trough. And there's more of a trough like right in here too. And then I'm standing on a pretty pretty uh, high sandbar right now. So it's giving me closer access to the waves, which is uh, where I like to be. So that's why I kind of moved a little bit north Seemed like the uh, wave action was a little bit better here. We'll see how it goes. I only had two tiny pecks on my first cast. Uh, this is my second cast. Okay, so this is like cast four. Just got a bite. Uh, I'm just a little north of the trees. But again, very small bite. Uh, still getting it, actually. But uh, yeah, still getting it. I don't know if you see my rod. All right, so no follow-up on cast four bites. Uh, again, they were little tiny pecks too, so I'm pretty sure they were silvers. So this is number five. Uh, if I don't get anything here soon, I'm gonna start heading back south to the mouth of the creek. Trees are, and like I said, there's a trough right here, and then there's a sandbar I'm standing on. So that's probably the channel where the fish are hanging out, and it goes down just to the other dead of the trees. But some place it's like two or three feet deep. So, uh, you know, that's kind of a holding pool where I'm sure that's the reason why I have a lot of success in this area at high tide. All right, I'm gonna head south now. This is cast five. Nothing on this one so far. Out to the mouth of the creek. I just wasted like 10 minutes untangling my line. So, uh, gonna head straight down to the south. So I'm walking around the trough because it's kind of deep now and tide's coming in. But uh, that's a pretty big trough. And so, but let's go see how she's doing. So I think I've taken like six casts, maybe five. Uh, been here, I can't remember what time I got here now. But I think I've been here like about half an hour, 45 minutes already. Although I only got five casts. Like I said, I wasted 10 minutes on tangling my line. So let's go see how she's doing. I'm gonna head more to the south. I'm about ready to quit though. Third day in a row. First cast down south again. Oh, no, had a bite. I might have one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got one. This would be like cast six or seven, I can't tell now. Yeah, I got one. Eh, that's a red tail. Oh, my base gone on the bottom one too. <laughs> To see how she's been doing uh so that was top hook natural natural color worm so first fish i was cast i think six i got my second one here so this is right after i got my last little red tail oh man maybe it came off felt the jerk just then yeah i still got one Oh, got a dope. 
Tiny ones. <laughs> Two silvers. Oh, so middle gulp is camo, bottom is the uh, natural color. So it's two casts in a row on the south now. Right away, as soon as I cast it. I'm, I'm still getting bites. Three in a row. This one's feeling a little bit decent. Man, this thing's really, this thing's really fighting. I don't know if it's the tide. But all of a sudden, this still a fartage. Well, all of a sudden, started fighting pretty well. Doesn't look that big though. Top hook. Are you keeping fish? You want to keep them? Okay. It's it's eating size. You got to kill. Oh yeah, you got a catch bag. Nice. Uh, where's my ruler? Oh, there it is. Yeah, nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarter inch. Okay, so that's uh, three casts and four fish because I got the double. No, it's two red tails. So that's uh, four fish, three casts. Uh, that one was like about a nine and a half inch red tail. So two red tails today. So as soon as I came back south, three uh, casts in a row. Was cast seven, eight, and nine, where I got my uh, four fish. So this would be cast ten. I get it. Oh man, I'm still getting bites. Can't tell. I actually might have it. Let's take a look. So this would be four casts in a row where I got bites. I can't tell if I got it. If I do, it's a really tiny one. Uh, oh, it just got really light. Nope. And look at all three baits are totally gone. <laughs> so, action's really good right now. I got a lot of bites. All three of my baits are gone. Uh, that's like five casts in a row where I'm getting bites. Um, she just got, she's just getting bites too. So it looks like action's picking up. Uh, and it's about two and a half hours past low tide. So um, I'm thinking this is like roughly equivalent to the same conditions as the last three days I've come when it's been outgoing low tide in about a three to four or five foot height depth. Just got another bite too. So this will be like, I want to say six casts in a row with bites. Although they're all kind of small. I haven't felt a really good tug yet. Okay, that was like cast seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So I think this is like cast twelve, but uh, given the action's picking up, I think I'm going to bag it here pretty quick. Uh, next week's looking pretty gnarly though, so I doubt if I'll be out next week. Okay, this is cast twelve. I've got a bunch of little tiny bites on that one, but uh they went on for quite a while i don't think i got one but it's possible nope oh yeah i do another silver <laughs> I, I could tell it was a silver by the tiny pecs i was getting on my bikes okay so that was cast 12 that was a silver i want to say that's five fish i got you got the double silver single silver and two red tails but uh, I'm just going to fish my way back to the parking lot and call it quits. Stay on the Oregon coast. Uh, no wind. I'm guessing it's in the high 40s. But it's super pleasant. And swell conditions were less than 200 today, swell energy. So, man, what a beautiful day to be out fishing uh, way today. All right, so let's do a summary. I uh, got in 12 casts up next to the trees. Uh, I got five bites in a row, and I want to say I got five fish, maybe four. I can't remember, no. No, it's got five, at least five, because I got the double silver, tiny silver, and I got two red. So it's at least five fish and 12 casts up there. 
I had two, three other bites, so you know, action was pretty good, even though all the bites were tiny ones. So, uh, it's like Tong was saying when he left, was that uh, the silver seemed to be taken over, and sure enough, what an awesome day! It's been an awesome three days actually, because action's been pretty good all three days. So, action's been pretty good the last three days. I didn't catch very much yesterday because I left too early, but. Uh, uh, but other than that, you know, lots of bites on most of the casts. Uh, again, today was the smallest bites I've had in the last three trips. So, that's it for today. Uh, very fun day. It's always great to be out on the Oregon coast and uh, get to meet fellow club members. All right, till next time, which is probably going to be in about a week and a week and a half. Because next week looks really ugly. All right, that's it.